Hi everyone, Ross here from Ross McGibbon Reptile Photography and I've got some exciting footage to share with you all of a Merton's water monitor taking down a freshwater crayfish and swallowing it whole. And as you can see I'm filming this goanna as it basks beside a water hole when it decides that uh, it's had enough of me filming it and it dives into the water and swims under a ledge. And right when I think the encounter's all but over, it emerges from the water hole with this huge freshwater crayfish in its mouth. And over the next 20 minutes or so, I'm very lucky to witness this rare predation event where the Merton's water monitor subdues the crayfish and continues to swallow it whole while I catch everything on film. And just while the monitor lizard is subduing the crayfish, I'll tell you a little bit about Merton's water monitors and why they're so fascinating. And firstly, as their name suggests, that they're one of Australia's most aquatic monitor lizards. They grow to around one meter in length and they're always usually found around the vicinity of fresh water, uh, especially up in the top end of uh, the Northern Territory, Western Australia and Queensland. And they're an active uh, daytime predator, so they're diurnal, uh, and they consume such a wide variety of prey. They're, um, they're also active foragers, but they're also um, opportunistic feeders, and if they see something, uh, they're quick to grab it. And in this case, I bet the Merton's water monitor is really just swimming down to try and get away from me. And it's opportunistically swum under a ledge and there was this crayfish. So it's grabbed it and then uh, decided to consume it. The other really cool thing about these animals is they're so smart. And you're about to see just how smart these lizards are uh, by how uh, it overcomes the problem of consuming something whole. Uh, because they can't tear chunks off because they just don't have the jaw structure and the teeth to be able to tear things apart like large Komodo dragons do. So everything that they catch, they really have to be able to swallow whole. And this is really bordering on uh, about the maximum this, this animal can take, but it's not gonna give up such an easy meal. Well, I say easy, but you're about to see uh, just how difficult it is uh, for this monitor to try and get this uh, large crayfish down whole. Um, but it's really smart and what it does, it goes up against a tree and it's going to use the tree root to actually push the crayfish down its throat, which is just uh, amazing and it just goes to show just how smart these animals are. And probably the most fascinating thing about Merton's water monitors is their ability uh, to master foraging on land as well as in the aquatic environment. And that really increases their availability of prey items and makes sure that these animals are really successful throughout their range. And what makes these lizards so successful in the water is their laterally depressed tail. It's really muscular and it just powers them through the water, a bit similar to like a crocodile. And they also fold their legs back and become really streamlined underwater so that they can catch fast moving prey like fish and if for any reason the fish are too fast for the Merton's water monitor to catch underwater while swimming uh, they've got some other tricks up their sleeve and what they've been witness doing in the wild is actually herding schools of fish into the shallows even using their tail to slap at the fish and, and herd them into a, a more shallow environment where they can be more easily predated upon. And if you add the ability to stay underwater for up to 30 minutes, it makes these guys quite uh, the effective aquatic predator. Now, in addition to using the water as one of their preferred hunting grounds, uh, Merton's water monitors also use uh, freshwater bodies of water like this um, for their shelter and also their safety. And at night time while they're sleeping or even during the day uh, basking, what they'll do is they'll perch themselves on um, logs that overhang the water. And then if they're disturbed by a predator, um, all they need to do is slip into the water and then they're safe again. And that's what I thought this individual was doing when it slipped into the water while I was photographing it. Uh, but lucky for me, it uh, opportunistically found a crayfish and decided to bring it up and eat it on the bank in front of me. All right, that about wraps up this piece on the amazing Australian Merton's water monitor. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learnt something new. And if you'd like to purchase any of the prints from this encounter, please head over to rmrphotography.com.au. And thanks for watching and take care, everyone.